All right, so if the latest PS4 software update messed up your PS4 and you end up in a safe mode loop and your screen looks like this where it says cannot start the PS4, or if you end up on the safe mode screen where it tells you to plug in a USB that has a PS4 update, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this problem. And this video is gonna work for any software update version. For example, look right here where it says that you have to install version 5.50 or later. So you can install the latest version and get your PS4 up to the latest version and that's gonna fix your problem. Okay, in order to get your PS4 into safe mode, you're gonna have to connect your controller to the PS4 with the USB cable. So make sure once it's plugged in, you're gonna wanna hold down the power button for about seven seconds until you hear a second beep. So keep holding it down. You should, see, you should hear a second beep. There we go, and then you can go ahead and let it go. Okay, in order to get to the safe mode menu, you're gonna to have to press the PS button on your PS4 controller. Now, if you press the PS4 button and nothing happens, that means you're probably not using your original PS4 USB cable. So if that's the case, you can look around your house to see if you have another USB cable that will work for you. But if you can't find a cable that works, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down in the description below for a cable that I know works for sure. So go ahead and look in the description for that. But if you have the right cable, go ahead and press the PS button. And you're gonna see some options here. And the one we wanna go to is option number three, which is update system software. And don't use the analog control here. You wanna use the D-pad here. So option number three, update system software, and go ahead and press X. And then we're gonna go down to update using internet. Okay, and the great thing about the safe mode option is that even though I have the version 7.50 installed, it's gonna go ahead and let me install it again. So if you install the version 7.50 update and you're having problems, go ahead and try this by going to safe mode and then reinstall the 7.50 update. Okay, so go ahead and press X so we can go to the next screen. And we see here that it's gonna go ahead and download the update file. So you can see right here, because I'm using the LAN cable, it's downloading really fast. If I were on Wi-Fi, this would take a while. And if your Wi-Fi signal is not too great, this could corrupt this update file, which is gonna give you problems. So again, I recommend using the LAN cable if at all possible. And there we go. We have about a second left. You see that it actually downloaded pretty fast. It's about 500 megabytes. And now we get this message stating that our PS4 will be updated. And we're gonna go ahead and press the X key to update our PS4 to 7.50. Okay, it is now performing the system software update. Make sure you don't turn off your PS4 during the installation, otherwise you might break your PS4. And there we go, the update has finished and our PS4 will restart. All right, and if everything went well, you should see the PS logo come up. It's gonna go ahead and take a second to rebuild the database. Okay, and there we go. As you can see, the PS4 update 7.50 successfully installed. I'm gonna show you how you can use a USB drive to download the update to this USB drive on your computer here. And then we're gonna take the USB drive that has the PS4 update and hook it up to our PS4. And then boot up our PS4 into safe mode. And then we're gonna be able to install the update that way. Uh, note, however, that not all USB flash drives will fit on the PS4. Notice it's very narrow. So for example, you have a flash drive like this and you try to plug it in, it's just gonna get stuck there. So if you guys look around the house and don't have a flash drive or one that fits on your PS4, I will leave a link down in the description to a flash drive that will work with your PS4. So look for it down there. All right, now let's take our USB drive and hop on our computer to prepare the USB drive with the update so that we can fix our PS4. Okay, now that we're on our computer, we're gonna go ahead and wanna prepare our USB drive for the PS4 update. And pay close attention because this is where a lot of people run into problems. So what you wanna do is go to Windows Explorer and go to the drive letter of your USB drive. And then we're gonna check what file system it has. So if you right click and hit properties, so if you look under the general tab under file system, if it says FAT32, then that is the correct file format needed for the PS4 update file. So if your drive says FAT32 here, you can go ahead and move on to the next step. 
However, if you right click on your USB drive, hit properties and under file system, it says NTFS. We're going to have to reformat our USB drive so that it works with the PS4 update. Otherwise, you're going to run into problems. It's just not going to work. So I'm going to show you how to format this USB drive really quickly. OK, before I show you how to format your USB drive, keep in mind that formatting will erase all data on your USB drive. So I recommend that you just double click on the drive. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and select all the files on my USB drive and I'm just going to drag them to my backup drive, which is the my book right here. So this is my backup drive and it's just going to copy the files over. As we see, the files are now here and we can go ahead with the formatting now. OK, now that we backed up our files from the USB drive, I'm going to show you how to format it again. It's going to delete all the contents of the USB drive. So make sure you back up your files first. So go ahead and right click on the drive and select format. And then under file system, you're going to want to select FAT32. And under format options, I do recommend that you check the box for quick format. It'll just go way faster. Now, if you don't mind waiting a while, you can uncheck it and it'll actually scan the drive for errors. So if you think there might be something wrong with the drive, you're not sure and you don't mind waiting, you can uncheck that. But otherwise, go ahead and click start and then click OK. And as you can see here, the format is complete. Now, if we hit close and we right click on our drive and hit properties, we will now see that under file system, it says FAT32. Now, this is really important because if your USB drive isn't formatted as FAT32, your PS4 won't be able to read the PS4 update file off of it. OK, great. Now that we have our USB drive prepared, we're going to go ahead and download the PS4 update file. All right, and now that we prepared our USB drive for the system software update, I want you to go down in the description of this video and click on the web link for this web page. I want you to go to this web page specifically because there's some other pages that are a bit more confusing, but this one explains what you need to do pretty well. Okay, so once you're at the PS4 system software update web page, you're gonna wanna scroll down and I want you to pay attention to two things. So I want you to pay attention right here where it says PS4 system software update file. And you're going to see that the size of this file is 460 megabytes. Now this is the update file you want to download. If you scroll further down, you're going to see something called complete system software file. You don't want this one. This is the one that's going to wipe your entire PS4 hard drive and you're going to have to re-download and install everything. It's going to erase all your saved clips, your saved games and so on. And you're going to see this one is a much bigger file at 1.1 gigabytes. So again, you want the smaller update file and not the full system software file. So let's go ahead and scroll back up to the update file that we want. And I do recommend that you use at least a two gigabyte USB flash drive because you may have some other files in the flash drive that you need and you need 460 megabytes of space. So for my case, I have a four gigabyte flash drive and that was more than enough space. OK, now in the system software update file section, I'm going to want you to go down to downloading instructions. And before we download the file, which you would have to click right here, agree to terms and download update. Don't do that just yet because we have to finish preparing our USB flash drive by creating these two folders, PS4 and update, and it has to be in capital letters. So let's go ahead and do that now. OK, so we're going to want to go ahead and go to our USB drive that we prepared earlier. And then we're going to create a folder in the root of the drive with a capital PS4. And again, it needs to be capital letters and then the number four at the end. And then you're going to want to go ahead and double click inside of that and then create a new folder called update. And again, it must be capital. And as you can see right here, you just have the USB drive letter followed by PS4 followed by update. OK, now that we have our USB drive fully prepared for the update, we're going to want to go ahead and click right here where it says agree to terms and download update. So go ahead and click on that. OK, so let's go ahead and click save. And I want you to pay attention to something really important here. Notice that it says it's downloading a file called PS4 update parentheses one dot PUP. Now, if you're trying this out and you're getting this error SU41350-3, it means that it can't find the update file. Basically, you took the file that you just downloaded and copied it to your flash drive. However, 
the file must be named ps4update.pup. It can't have any numbers or anything before or after it. So I'm gonna show you guys if you run into this case, cause I know I've had that problem where you try downloading multiple times and you keep clicking on this link. It's gonna create multiple files with this number in it. But since this happened to me, it's kind of good because I can show you guys how to correct this problem so you don't run into this SU41350-3 error. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for the download to finish. All right, now that our PS4 update file has finished downloading, we're gonna go ahead and click on open folder, which is gonna take us to the folder where this file was downloaded to. Okay, and as we can see here, here is the file that was downloaded. We're gonna wanna go ahead and copy it to our USB drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and just right click on it, hit copy. Then we're gonna go to our USB drive, which is the K drive for me. And then we're gonna wanna go and double click on PS4 folder, double click on update, and then right click and hit paste. Okay, now pay really close attention because this is where a lot of people have problems. This file needs to be named ps4update.pup all in capitals without anything else in the name. So as you can see here, because I downloaded this file multiple times, it has this parentheses and then a number. In my case, it's the number one. You're gonna have to go ahead and delete that. So if your file does have parentheses and some number, go ahead and right click and hit rename. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove anything extra such as the parentheses and then the number and then just press enter and this is exactly how your file should be named ps4 update.pup all in capitals okay now that we have our ps4 update file copied to our usb flash drive we're gonna go ahead and take our flash drive and plug it into the ps4 now and i'm going to show you how to go into safe mode to apply the ps4 update now if your ps4 boots up with a message stating that it wants you to plug in a usb with the latest update file then all you need to do is leave the usb drive plugged in while you're booting up your ps4 normally and then that should install the update file now if that doesn't work or you have another error message i'm going to show you how to go into safe mode on your ps4 to update the ps4 update file manually using a usb drive so let's go ahead and jump on the ps4 now Okay, so now that we have our USB drive with our PS4 update file ready, we're gonna go ahead and plug this into the PS4. In addition, you're gonna have to plug in your PS4 controller with a USB cable to the PS4, just like you see right here. Okay, so for those of you that are turning on your PS4 and it's asking you for a USB that contains the PS4 update file, you're pretty much all set. You're gonna turn on your PS4 just using the power button and it should find the PS4 update file right there, and it's gonna get you back to your home screen. Now, for those of you who are stuck in the safe mode loop, or for example, if you have a cannot start PS4 error, you're gonna have to go into safe mode in order to manually install the PS4 update file. So now I'm gonna show you how to get into safe mode on your PS4. Okay, and to get your PS4 into safe mode, you're gonna wanna go ahead and locate the power button on your PS4 and go ahead and hold it down for about seven seconds. You're gonna hear a first beep and then you can go ahead and let go of the button after you hear the second beep. So let's go ahead and do that now, hold it down. We heard that first beep already, waiting for the second one. And there's the second one, I can go ahead and let go. Okay, and then you should come to the safe mode screen that looks like this, where it's asking you to connect your DualShock 4 controller with a USB cable and then press the PS button. Now at this point, you're gonna wanna go ahead and press the PS button. Now if you press the PS button and nothing happens, it doesn't let you go to the next step, then that means you're not using the original PS4 USB cable. Now you can go ahead and look around your house and find another cable that might work. However, if you can't find a USB cable that works, I will leave a link down in the description below to a USB cable that I know works for sure. Go ahead and pick that up and then you can try this again. Okay, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and press the PS button and it should bring you to this safe mode menu. Now we're gonna wanna use the D-pad and not this analog stick here to go down the different options in the menu. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and press down and we're gonna go to update system software, which is option number three here. Once you do that, go ahead and press X and you're presented with three different options here. Update from USB storage device, update from disk, and update from internet. So in our case, since we prepared our USB drive with the PS4 update, we're gonna go ahead and choose option number one. So go ahead and press X. 
OK now it tells you to go ahead and connect the storage device with an update file of certain version or later. So go ahead and go to the right to OK and then press the X button. And so as you can see here, it found our PS4 update file on our USB flash drive. And we're going to want to go ahead and hit X to go to the next screen. And as you can see here, it's copying the update file for our PS4. And once this is finished, it should update your PS4 and get your PS4 back up and running. Okay, as you can see here, it does say that the PS4 will be updated. Go ahead and press X to update. And your PS4 is gonna go ahead and restart. At this point, it's installing the update file onto your PS4 and your PS4 will automatically restart. At this point, you should see the PS logo and it should run a rebuilding database really quickly. And then your PS4 should be back up and running again. So there you have it. Just fix your PS4. If this video helped you out, please like and subscribe. Okay, and if you still have problems, go ahead and look for my other videos on YouTube. Just go ahead and type in Zadius Tech PS4 in the YouTube search bar, and that will take you to all my videos. If this fix helped you out, I would appreciate it if you hit like on your way out and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.